Hi guys, my name is Dr. Ian Shapiro. I work at Kaizo Health in Fairfax. I'm going to be demonstrating the difference between a variety of adjustments today. Everything from cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spines, lumbar, uh, lumbar sacral slash pelvic. pelvic. So uh, first we're going to start with a generalized, um, diversified uh, lumbar adjustment. So this is our patient Duha right here. So Duha is going to lay on her side. She's going to face me. This is the classical lumbar adjustment that you hear when you go to a chiropractor. Very classically, they'll come and they'll lay on their side. We'll put a little bit of flexion to the knee here. Trying not to overly rotate the patient, especially coming through the mid-back here. Depending on the condition, the, each practitioner will do things a little bit differently. If we're dealing with more like a disc complaint, we try to minimize rotation. If we're not dealing with that, more mechanical type issues, we can do a little more rotation. Depends on the person, size as well as age also makes a big factor in this. So very commonly we'll come up to the patient right through here, make sure they're nice and comfortable, a little bit of flexion in the spine there. Any problems with this, any pain? Good. Do our palpation here, find our restriction joints. Obviously after a thorough physical examination, we'll determine whether or not this adjustment's appropriate. Have her take a nice breath for me. And then the, the thrust is right through here with the vector going straight through the lumbar spine right through like that. So that is one of the ways that we do lumbar adjusting. Another way we do is we call it drop piece. So we'll have Duha go lay face down for me. So drop pieces are used classically in a, uh, he was invented by a practitioner named Thompson. So Thompson drops, what you might call it. And uh, specifically for these tables, you'll see the actual one portion will actually raise up. So Duha, if you could scoot down a little bit toward your toes for me. Beautiful, a little bit more for me. Awesome. And what you do is using these levers here on the side, we will come up here and set our drop piece. You'll see it raised through here. Depending on how much how much the patient weighs, actually, the amount of pressure you need to apply makes a big difference there. But for her, we'll keep it just for the sake of demonstration. And just like the lumbar adjustment we just did right there, at this time we will set up more on the sacroiliac joint, the SI joint, in this case, the opposite side. And the thrust is just down through here, like that. Beautiful. And the final one that we do in our office is called flexion extraction. This isn't necessarily a, a, um, a forceful a forceful adjusting technique. This is more of a traction type, traction type modality. Once again, we need a specialized table to apply this with the use of this handle right here. We will open up the back portion of the table here, which allows the actual bottom portion to drop out. Very good for people who have any nerve entrapments or potentially some disc involvement. Opens up those facet joints, opens up those foramina, basically increase, uh, decrease the amount of pressure that's put into the nerves, a little bit of tension right through the low back, and then pushing down. And once again, all these techniques and these modalities are used differently depending on the patient, depending on the condition. So all taken and uh, applied with appropriate physical examination history. All right. So those are the common adjustments you'll see for the low back and the lumbar spine our clinic. We'll move up to the thoracic spine and for the sake of making it easy for Duha here, we'll demonstrate the difference between a supine thoracic adjustment and a prone thoracic adjustment. This is the prone position, prone meaning face down, supine meaning face up. Easy way I always talk to remember it is imagine you got your bowl of soup here, your supine, you're up like that. So for the sake of this adjustment right here, it's more, more so it has to do with um, personal preference, doctor preference as well as patient preference. Some people prefer to be prone. Some people prefer to be face up, can breathe a little bit easier. Personally, I prefer the, the uh, supine position. So like we just did before, we will palpate, find where our motion restrictions are after a thorough examination. A bunch of different ways to place your hand contacts. There's everything from a double thenar adjustment through here to a cross pisiform adjustment like this to a knife edge adjustment like this. All varying depending on more so on doctor preference as well as patient presentation. So for the sake of this one, we'll just do a little double thenar adjustment here. The patient will take a nice deep breath in and then breathe on the breathing out, a little force is just applied right through there. To demonstrate a supine adjustment, I'll have you go ahead and flip on over for me. Good. All the patients scoot down a little bit towards their toes, a little bit of a pillow, nice and comfortable, and then give yourself a big hug, just like that. This, this part of it is more doctor preference in terms of how they want to essentially have the, the patient kind of present. There's two ways that you see this done. Classically, you'll see the rolling over with the palpation to the mid back here, rolling over like this and then a little thrust down like that. Also, you may see from the same side where patients where doctor may come right through here. Same thing here, a nice deep breath. 
Good. Rolling it over. And just pushing just like that. All right. And then finally, we'll do some cervical adjusting. Cervical adjusting can be done in a variety of different ways. One of the ways you can do it is actually with that Thompson drop technique. For the sake of demonstration here, I'm not going to do that for Duha just because not my favorite, not very well in classically using here. Most commonly, we'll do what we call a diversified adjustment. Two ways, either supine or seated in the chair. So as she is right here supine, we'll demonstrate what that would be. I'm not going to do anything here. Once again, thorough palpation, thorough examination, thorough physical history taken to make sure, okay, this is what we want to adjust. After some joint play, motion palpation, find the segment that needs to be, that is restricted and want to move. A little bit of tension right through here and just a little force just through there. Awesome. And then finally, I'll have her come and set it up for me. Swing facing that way. Good. And seated is applied the exact same way. This is more of just a preference in terms of how the patient feels comfortable. A lot of times patients are much more comfortable kind of relaxing through this way. We'll have the patient kind of slouch back just a little bit, nice and kind of relaxed through here. Same thing, palpation, find your, find your restriction points there. Have the patient kind of relax their head right into there. Good, relax through here. And then just a little thrust just like that as well. So that is some of the common ways that we use adjustments in our clinic.